The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 10th, the magical, magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the message of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone and dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. Right now, I get all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. They're all down a percent or two and six tenths percent. If you take a look at the semis, which is down 100 points, the Dow is off 400, the S&P 65, NASDAQ 298, Russell down 40, semis off 100, Tranny's down 352. You've got gold up two bucks, silver up nine pennies, uh, 30 year Treasury's up five ticks. She's trading at 155.09, leading the charge dollar wise. To the upside, iRhythm Technologies up 26 points, 25%. Moderna up 15 bucks, 7%. Humana, 13 bucks, 4%. Thermo Fisher Scientific up 11 bucks, nearly 2%. Bionatech is up uh, about 5%, 10 bucks to the upside. Amazon down 85, 2 and 3 quarters percent. Chipotle 71, 4.5%. Mercado Libre 65, 6%. Shopify 63, about 6%. Azimil Holdings off over 6%. 50 bucks to the downside. So we certainly have some movers and some shakers. Of course, what you want to know is what's happening right now in the play by play world going down to the short term time frames. At least that's what I thought I heard out there. So let's go try to answer that question out here. So uh, no calls, no emails, or any. Thing so, which is good because it's going to give us an opportunity to go dive down into these uh, charts in detail to try to understand what is being communicated to you and I. So, the first place that we're going to start in the play by play book is looking at those 30 minute time frame charts for the four equity future contracts. And what we see here are four bottoming patterns. So, there is, a, and we saw the first rally, the first rally stopped where it should have, which was uh, really at the oscillator and change line. If you take a look at the upper right hand chart, I believe it's the NQ that will control control everything out here but if you take a look and go back to the upper left hand chart you'll see a td9 and roads momentum indicator bottom for the es mini the es mini can close about 46.13 you should see price make its way back to 46.67 that would be a big rally that'd be another 54 points or so the confirmation of that likely comes so the oscillator and change line has acted as resistance we've had this little sideways move over the past couple of hours so now if the nq closes about 15 316 50 on a 30-minute basis, certainly two, then that would suggest that we should see a rally. That could take us up to 16,657. The Dow has got a TD9 count bottom. If price can clear its oscillator and change line, the next battle will be at 35,791. And above that says 36,127. So those are the levels you want to be watching. Russell 2000 has a TD9 count bottom in the last half hour between 1230 and 1. That low was tested and rejected. It's trading inside a bullish structured profile. But here the oscillator and change line has been the real key resistance level. And that's at the 2142 area. So we've got valid bottoming signals for all four contracts. 
X. It's uh, by the way, in the NQ, the bottoming signal is an A to B equals CD to the downside. So from an intraday session at 111 in the afternoon, nobody should be surprised if we see a rally here. Nobody should be surprised. Now there's resistance levels. You and I have been able to identify those that price needs to clear that will then confirm that that rally should extend itself out there. But we don't want to stop here. We want to go take a look at really rip apart each of these charts for their multi time frames out there. So let's begin by taking a look at the NQ, which likely is going to uh, go ahead and uh, actually, you know what we want to do here since I'm already on that screen? Let's do this. Um, that way I don't have to really you know, keep going back and forth. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, but you will momentarily because what I'm going to put up are the top eight charts that represent really Google is two symbols. So it really we've got the top nine symbols that represent very close to 50 percent. I don't know what it is as of Friday's close, but very close to 50 uh, percent of the NDX 100. So the reason that we want to take a look at these stocks is we want to try to understand what they're communicating to you and I. So if we take a look at Apple, Apple is pulling back into a swing point. That swing point is from the trading session of momentarily. Give me a moment here. That trading session is uh, from uh, December 20th. Now, when I looked at it earlier, it looked like Apple was pulling back with lighter volume. So I'm just going to I'm not going to switch screens for you. I'm just going to go take a look at my other screen and get that volume matrix. So the swing point that we just looked at, that swing point, again, being December 20th, has 108 million shares. And so far today, we're at about 58. And we are at 930. We're four hours into the trading session, right? 930, 1030, 11, 12. Yeah, 130. So Apple's pulling into a swing point with lighter volume. So that says, OK, bounce possible, bounce to where 174.40 would be the likely target in Apple. Uh, that is the bottom of that profile could easily get up to 177 or 178. So Apple at least pull it. Now, what Apple would need to do to reject that swing point, it would need today to close above 170.58. You're 170 and some change right now, not 58. But a close above 170.58 with less than 107 million shares will be a test and rejection of a swing point with lighter for lighter volume for Apple, that suggests a bounce higher. You close inside the swing point, even if it's lighter volume, that could say you're going to go down and test, maybe blow away that swing point. We don't know. In the case of Microsoft, bar number seven of a TD9 count, trading right back into support. And support here is at the 30860 level. That's its TD9 breakout support. That itself can be a bottoming signal out there. So watch 308.60 or 308.80 as we speak right now for Microsoft. So back to a level of support. Amazon is going to form bar number nine of a TD9 count. Now, in the case of the TD9 counts, the low can form on the bar following bar number nine. But that would say that you have a valid TD9 count in Amazon that should, if this pattern does take hold, should take place between today and tomorrow. Again, signal of a potential bottom. In the case of Facebook out here, uh, Facebook has not made its way back to its its lower swing point. Uh, that swing point, I'm going to get the day here. That day is on the trading day of December 3rd. And that volume there was 27 million. You're back with 15 million. Has it gotten down there? No, it hasn't gotten down there. So I don't have a clear reading with regard to Facebook. With regard to Tesla, she's just pulling back into her bullish structure daily profile. Nothing broken there. Bar number eight of NVIDIA. Remember, in the TD9 count, it can be bar 8, 9, or the bar following 9 out here. So NVIDIA either is going to form a TD9 count today or between today and Wednesday and uh, could be targeting 240, 282. But it's got the sign of a bottom. So does uh, Google, bar number 9 today. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, so we've got the eight panel uh, charts for the uh, NASDAQ out here, the NQ. Each of them are going to signal something different to us. But what we know so far, we were in the early part of January. And on a monthly basis, we now have a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator signal for the monthly time frame with price below that oscillator and change line. Now, it's early in the month out here. If this were the end of the month, as we take a look at this, what would this signal to you? This would signal to you that we've got a long term, long term. Long term, Stevie said, long term uh, suggestion of a change in trend out there, at least the top that would be in place. And that top could take us all the way back to 12207. We're not making that projection just yet. Of course, the month is not over, so it's going to be dependent upon the monthly candle, and January 11th just doesn't do it. But that's what we've got right now. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we have already a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top there. That says a price longer term that we're talking about. Remember, we just looked at short term, but longer term, uh, that would suggest run back to the October lows or perhaps its breakout level in the 13,462 area. If we take a look at the daily time frame, today is going to become bar number seven. So if there's going to be a TD9 count, and that may or may not be the pattern out here, if there is, though, we should see a lower low sometime between Tuesday and Thursday of this week. Um, and that could set up the TD9 count. That could take price back to 47.85. So that's the daily, weekly, and monthly charts out there. But intraday, we've got different signals, right? We're doing the play-by-play. -play. Just depends on what time frame it is you're, you're on. So we've got the A to B equals CD pattern inside a 30-minute chart. I don't have that drawn in here. Just, just trust me on that or don't trust me. Go do the work yourself. But right now, we've got the NQ trading above the top of its 30-minute profile, 30, 15, 3, 17, I believe, right, right around there. And a close above that is... It's going to suggest a further rally. And that further rally could take us up all the way to 15,657. The 60 minute chart has a TD9 count at Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. You can see price taken on its oscillator and change line, right where we're trading right now, 15. 337 or thereabouts. If price can clear that, 15379 is its battle. If price closes above 15379, 15657 is its message, lining up with the 30 minute chart out here. We may have a Rhodes momentum indicator confirmed bottom and the 120 minute chart. This candle finishes, I believe, at 2 o'clock. Yeah, at, at 2 p.m. So I don't really know what that candle is going to look like 40 minutes from now. We'd have to come back to it. The four hour chart, TD9 count bottom. 
the uh, five-hour chart, bar number eight of a TD nine count bottom out there. So that suggests you, we could be seeing a. So we've got many bottoming signals on these intraday charts. Let the thirty-minute chart be the driver. And right now, so 121, we've got nine minutes left in this session out here. So price could pull back. But again, a close above 15, 317, 15, 316, 50 to be exact is going to suggest a further rally to the upside. So big meanings out here, depending on your time frame that we're looking at. But right now, the message appears to be some type of counter trend move out there. Now, we'll come back. We'll take a look at this for the other equity future contracts as well. But there are a couple of questions that have come in. And so I want to be able to get to those before we run out of time. I don't want to do that. So the first question is uh, from, I believe it's TKC, maybe in the Tiger's Den, who wanted to take a look at Peloton. Yeah, so uh, let me do this. Let's uh, change screens out here. Uh, now I have a ton of things that are running in the in the background right now. Uh, some specifically, so in anticipation of what we might want to cover during the show. So what that means is that uh, it's going to take just a little bit of time uh, for my charts when I put in a new symbol, like Peloton, as an example. Uh, so it'll take uh, just a few. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a delay there. That means that Stevie may have to tell you a joke. I wish I were a good joke teller. I'm a good joke receiver. I love listening to good jokes. I'm always amazed at um, uh, comedians that uh, you, you, know, I, I, you know who doesn't love humor. <laughs> if you're depressed, uh, go laugh. Go find some comedy out there and listen to that. Okay, uh, so that was my delay out there. Peloton, you've got a brand new daily profile. The question is, um, yeah, yeah, it is too bad about that guy. Yeah, when did he get his uh, booster shot? Anybody know? Stevie does. In any event, uh, Peloton out here, you got a brand new daily profile, the bottom of which is 3279, the top of which is 3662. So that's your support and resistance level. The question is, has Peloton bottom? So let's pull over the white background charts out there. And as we take a look at these white background charts, you do have a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom. So TKC, to the extent that you're looking for that bottom signal, you've got it. Now, I don't know if price is going to be able to take out resistance where the sellers are at at 3662, but that's your battle. Price is trading at 33.77. Two closes above 36.62 is going to suggest a further move higher. Now that's the daily time frame. The weekly time frame chart out here has what? It has a TD9 count bottom that formed last week. It's got a hammer candle. That doesn't mean anything to us. We have a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal this week. So another bullish reversal candle will confirm that bottom. Your resistance level is right at about 42.71, the bottom of its weekly profile and very close to its oscillator unchanged line. But you do have a valid bottom here, a TD9 count. And on a monthly basis, you don't got zip. Z not as, you know, so you'd have to make your decision based upon the daily and weekly. If those patterns fail, though, TKC, just know that your next entry area could be around the 2585 level. That is a TD9 breakout level for the monthly time frame. But the weekly's got a bottom. The daily's got a bottom. Uh, it's an easy trade because you'd close it out below the lows of last week or a close below the bottom of the current daily profile that's just formed today, 3279. So TKC, I hope that helps you out with regard to Peloton. Thanks so much for the request. The next request is from Dan of the Tiger's Den. He wants to take a look at Nike. NKE is the ticker symbol out there. Uh, Dan thinking that Nike is a bellwether for the uh, economy and or the market. So if we take a look at the chart for Nike, we have an A to B equals CD to the downside. The gap to the downside, taking out a swing point that had 8.4 million shares. So far, you're at about 6 million shares. So it seems like, Dan, you're going to be at similar type volume. The one-to-one -one A to B equals CD gets you to 147.50. 56, which is going to get you into its swing point low, daily swing point low, from September 30th that had 10 million shares. So ideally, you get the A to B equals CD pattern, you get a rejection of that swing point, and then you get a bullish reversal candle that would give you a buy the D point pattern out there. If that does not unfold, first, that's just the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD level out there. The one-to-1.272 1 gets you to 141. 1.618 1 expansion gets you to 132. But I think we can just simply go back to the profile levels there. Dan says, hey, the monthly is really important to him. Of course, we're only at the January, the uh, is today the 10th or the 11th? Today is the 10th out here. And price right now is testing support. And that's the top of its daily profile. It's below it slightly. 149.91 is that level. But if this area here fails, Dan, then what I was suggesting to you in the Tiger's Den is we should see a move back to the 130 to 135 level. That's its bullish structured monthly profile. Now, on a weekly basis, price is also pulling back into a swing point that has volume of 48 million shares. Way too early to try to figure out what that weekly volume is going to be out here. Um, but so Nike's got 
got the potential for a bottom that maybe unfolds over the course of the next couple of days. Not as we speak right now, that is for sure. So that's what's going on. We take a look. Well, let's pull over the white background chart, see if there's any other information here that we can gleam on the Nike chart. Today's going to be bar number seven. Breakout level 145.76, so you could have a TD9 count bottom on top of a uh, A to B equals CD pattern out there. The weekly chart out here, what do we have? I don't think we're going to find much. We really, well, weekly pattern, bar number seven for the week, but no bottoming signal there. And on a monthly basis, as we take a look at it, nothing really to help us out here. You do have a confirmed roads momentum indicator top on. That's what really, over the long haul, Dan, could take us back in that 130, 135 level. And that was uh, Nike for Dan. Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Of course, folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. We'll be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at DFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So our next question coming in from uh, email. This is from uh, Greg, and Greg M. wants to take a look at uh, Square. Would you look at Square for me? I don't have a position, but was looking at it for possible TD9 count, short-term trade. 
uh, what do you think? So uh, as we take a look at Square, let's do this here. Let's go just simply to my white background charts. So as we do this, because we're looking for some type of bottoming pattern here for Greg. So the um, depends on. So today's candle you've got right now as we speak, Greg, at 130. You have both a gap to the downside that would be bearish, and it's so far it's full. It's a it's it's got a hammer candle. Of course, it doesn't matter what it is at 130. It matters what it is at 4 p.m. It's got the potential for a bottom. Would I buy that bottom on the uh, daily time frame? If it's a hammer candle. Now, I would need, because of the gap to the downside, I would need proof. For me, proof would be at least a close above that oscillator and change line. That's currently a 142.61. If it's a change in trend, it's trading at 137. That shouldn't be a gigantic deal for you. But if you were asking me at 130 in the afternoon, has this bottom, it's given us that signal. Really depends upon today's candle session. If you don't get a hammer candle today, then the answer would be no. If I look at the weekly time frame chart for it as well, last week was the bar following Bar number nine of a TD9 count. So as long as price does not close below last week's low, last week's low out there was 138.09, then you've got a uh, bottoming signal out there as well. So that would be some additional proof. The oscillator and change line changed from green to red. If you get the bottoming signal, price should at least bounce up to that area, 184.40. On a monthly time frame, as we take a look at Square, no bottoming signal here. This is suggesting that longer term, Square wants to get back to 42.33. Uh, but in the meantime, you might get a bottom. I'd come back to this tomorrow, maybe the next day out there. But I do hope that that helps you out, Greg M. Uh, with regard to the TD9 count you asked about on the daily time frame, there's nothing there. There's just the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. The next question, this comes in from uh, Joe. And so uh, give me a moment here to get that going on his chart. He wants to take a look at Tilray. Ticker symbol out there is T-L-R-Y. Popping this morning on its uh, earnings uh, or its quarterly uh, uh, numbers out here. And uh, so far the gap is held. So it's really done a couple of things. Well, first, let's read his question. Joe says, can you look at Tilray? Heavy volume today after the earnings report. Yep, yep, yep. Where do you see the next resistance going? Well, today is it already hit the resistance level. So what you actually have out here, let me pull over the white background chart first. You have a valid bottoming pattern that is formed today. That's the Rhodes Mintum Indicator signal. We have that as we speak at 132 because we have a gap to the upside. A gap is a gap to the upside is a bullish signal. Gap to the downside would be a bearish signal. Do they eventually get filled? Maybe, but you got to go with the signal that you've got. Now here, in this case, Joe, even though you've got the bottoming signal, you also have the topping signal. Not really the topping signal, but you know where sellers are. We knew where they were before price popped this morning, and all that today has proved is exactly where they're hanging out. And they're hanging out in a group of a bunch, and that bunch is between 756 and 776. So, Tilray's gotten crushed. It's really it's almost, uh, well, it's almost back to the all-time low, which took place back in March of 2020 out here. Um, so, if this is a significant bottom, and I'm not saying that it is, but if it is, let this thing prove itself to you. Um, you know, let it close above 70, 76 out there, the top of that bearish structure profile. But your question, you know, how does it look, the heavy volume? Yeah, it's got, so, this is the question that I posed to myself this morning or about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, you've got, you don't have wide price spread. you got a gap to the upside. But you do have volume coming off that bottom. But it has been unable to take out those sellers. So, Greg, you and I have an unfair advantage. We know definitively where the sellers are at. We don't know whether buyers can overtake them or not, but we know where the sellers are at. Inside the case of Tilray, they have not been able to do that. The other thing to consider out here would be the ETF structure itself, which would be MJ, the alternative harvest that it's in. Now, in the case of MJ, it does have a valid bottoming signal as well. On Friday, you generated a bull sash candle. That confirmed a rose momentum indicator signal. So this is telling us that the pot sector itself is trying to form a bottom. Now, in the case of MJ, it's got a bunch of resistance battles up ahead 1133 1168 and then at 1204 but you do have you when you know if you see an individual stock and i'm not sure what uh, what uh, Tilray is, what number of awaiting inside that structure. Uh, but you like to see the sector itself turn as well as the individual stocks that are inside there. So it's got potential, uh, but I'd let it take out that resistance level out there. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Joe, but uh, best of luck, whatever it is that you do decide to do. The next question coming in from Peter, Peter in Park City. Hey, Peter, got any snow out there? 
I would imagine the answer to that question is yes. Can you do your analysis on ES like I did for the NQ? Absolutely. So uh, give me a moment here, folks. We'll switch over to a different panel of charts out there. That panel here right now, um, right now you're looking at my ugly FEP mug. So uh, we'll, get the, we'll get the screen turned off of that as soon as we possibly can. Here we go. The ES mini charts are popping up. Now let's share that screen. And in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see, again, the monthly time frame. So on a monthly time frame for the ES mini, you have a valid TD9 count. That took place last month. Now, what needs to occur by the end of the month out here, it doesn't have to be the end of this month, but certainly the end of some month, is a close below that oscillator and change line. Until that happens, all pullbacks are nothing more than on a longer-term basis pulling back to support. And that support level out there, Peter, is at 45.65. So valid top, but no level of support broken, unlike the NQ that you and I looked at earlier. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, last week confirms a road's momentum indicator top, so you've got the valid topping signal there. The daily time frame, um, so I've got different profiles for Ninja Trader than for E Signal out here. I'm going with the E Signal set of profiles, but but in this, uh, let's just take a look at this set of profiles. Price is pulled back to an area of support. That would be the center of its bearish structured profile, the 4576 level out here. So we'll just kind of go away from the daily time frame. We discussed the TD9 count, Rhodes momentum indicator signal on a 30 minute time frame. If price is able to close above where it's trading right now, which is the top of its daily profile, the top of that profile level is 4613. We're trading at 46.13. You close above that at 2 p.m. That suggests a further rally, and that rally could take us up to 46.67. You've got a TD9 count bottom on the 60-minute chart. The battle is at 46.17 and above that 46.24. You clear that, you're headed higher. The 120-minute time frame chart is trying to generate a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom signal out there. Um, don't have that just yet. Bar number seven on a 240, that's an A to B equals CD to the downside, likely. Yeah, it may not have completely fulfilled that. Let me just take a quick peek here from A to B. Uh, we put it right, looks like about right there. And uh, let me just uh, go ahead and move this over to the, yeah, so you, you do have, you've got the potential for a uh, buy the D point pattern to form there. And bar number eight on the five hour time frame chart for the um, for the ES Mini out there. So I hope that helps you out, Peter. Thanks so much for writing in. Let's go to our first caller and our only caller at this stage, and that is David. David, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I am fine. The snow's melting, thank goodness. Uh, snow, are you from the Northeast? Framingham, yeah. Uh, perfect, Mass, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, okay. We'll, se we'll send a little heat up to you from Delray Beach. Maybe Don't need it. Don't need it. It's melting. Okay, <laughs> thanks good. anyways. Okay, good. So you want to take a look at the GDX. Tell me what you're doing, how I can best help you. I'd like to see if this is a buy point in here. I believe it's tested the bottoms here. So you've got a swing point that it's testing as we speak right now. And that swing point out here, David, was from the trading day of December 15th. And that had 34 million shares. And if price today closes above... 30 bucks, even Steven, you're at 30, 20 on less than 34 million shares, and that's likely to happen, you would have a bottom signal. Do me a favor, David, we're going to a hard break here, or any kind of break, but hang on through, we'll come back, we'll take a look at GDX with David up in Massachusetts. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with David, and we're taking a look at the GDX. His question is, has it bottomed? So on a daily basis, uh, David, the only pattern that I have is a test and potential rejection of that uh, swing point. Do you use that sometimes for an entry into a position? Sometimes. Yeah. But so I think then, it's, then, made, a, I think it's made a double bottom possibly, maybe. Um, well, it really made the double bottom on the, in my, in my opinion, would have been the December 15th swing point. That right. swing point that it's trading right. into, uh, right. because that was really testing. That had 34 million shares. Now it's testing a prior swing point from September 29th that also had 34 million shares. So to a certain extent, you really like this trade setup. If there is a close above 30 bucks today, you know, what we have is right now about 15 million shares. So it looks like this is going to come in with much lighter volume. And if you get a rejection of that level, then it says you likely bounce to 3051, maybe 3132, and maybe it is a bottom. So th that would be the only, that's the only pattern that I can find um, that would suggest that there's a bottom in there. And, and it's a valid pattern out there. Was that so 3051 or 30, was that 3151 or after the 3051? The, the swing point, uh, so 3051 would be the center of its bullish structure daily profile. Okay. So if price rejects this $30 area and closes below that, that's going to be your next little battleground out there. And if price can close above that, it should get up to 3132. And just like you're watching the volume today into a swing point, I'd watch the volume as it moves into the swing point, if it does, from December 31st. Now that becomes a little tricky, right? Because it's holiday trading. It only has volume of 12 million shares. But you know, I, I don't know wh whether price will get up there, but if you ask me, does it have a valid bottoming signal out here? The answer is yes, but you'll need that confirmation at day's end, which is a close above thirty bucks. Yeah, do you see it getting up to thirty-three dollars at all, up to the two hundred day? Well, so the swing point that it would be targeting is December thirty-first, and that's at the, the high there would be thirty-two oh eight, and okay. if it can move into that. And I would say probably with more than 12 million shares were traded hands that day. It was a full trading day, but certainly not, you know, a fully market participant trading day. So you certainly want to see it. I'd say with if it's moving into that level of 15, 16, 17 million shares, then, yeah, that's that becomes its uh, target. Now, the weekly resistance level, you asked about 33 bucks. That is the top of its weekly profile at 3305 out there. So it's got that potential for sure. Oh, OK. And where do you see gold going to? 
Do you think that gold has bottomed out at the uh, gold? Seven- gold has just been trading sideways, and it's trading yeah. with inside its weekly profile out here. And that's really I'll just expand this chart out here so everybody can see it. So it, it was able to find support at a real key level, which was both the center of its daily and weekly profile. And it did that on Thursday and Friday of last week. What you'd like to see gold do today. If it can, it's close above 1802.20. Maybe it doesn't do it today. It does it this evening. But you'd like to see a close above 1802.20. That is the top of its daily profile. If we get that, David, then that should say that gold makes a run for its real key resistance here at 1828.50. So it's it, it also has potential uh, to make that move higher out here. What we can say about the uh, gold contract out here is if you take a look at the bottoms, you had the real low that came in on August 9th. You had a higher low that then came in on September 29th. You have a higher low that came in on December 15th. And maybe on Friday you had your fourth higher low out there. So okay. uh, it's it's got potential as well. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, okay, and have a good day. You bet. Thanks so much for calling in. That was David up in Massachusetts, where the snow is uh, melting. Uh, let me just check here real quickly, see if there's any other requests. Yeah, there is another request. This is coming from uh, Rich in Oregon. And Rich says, uh, what do you need to see happen before uh, you take a, a new position in, in AMD out there? Well, let's go take a look at AMD, see what it's doing out here. And uh, right now, we've got this trading out at about $30.20. No. What, what was I looking at? $127.97. So you are now below a swing point. This is AMD. The swing point is December 14th, about 51 million shares, and you're already doing 53. So what this is suggesting to you and I, Rich, is an A to B equals CD to the downside that's being confirmed as we speak. So the A point out here inside of uh, advanced micro devices is the high from November 30th. The B point is the low from December 14th. And the C point of this A to B equals CD pattern is December 28th. One to one gets us to 122.87. The low so far for the day has been 125.03. The 1.272 expansion level is 113. You're below the bottom of the weekly bullish structured profile. So let's pull over the other time frame charts or the back white background charts for AMD. So in addition to the A to B equals CD pattern, this is going to become bar number eight. So ideally what you would get out here, Rich, in order to take another long position inside AMD would be to see a TD9 count complete. An A to B equals CD pattern complete. Get that bullish reversal candle. And that would be the more ideal pattern. Now, its breakout level is at 118. 13. And if those patterns can form above that level, that would be your bullish signal. That would then at least suggest a bounce up to 137.18. So you may be close. That could be between today and Wednesday of this week. That's at least the TD9 count pattern. But ideally, you'd like to see that A to B equals CD pattern complete as well. No signals on the weekly. Uh, the monthly is saying, okay, if you get that bottom signal on the daily, that makes sense because price is only pulled back to support. And that was at 125.14, and that is its weak uh, monthly oscillator unchanged line level. So the answer to your question with regard to AMB, it's got that potential for a bottoming pattern to form out there. Let's uh, see what takes place and transpires over the next couple of days out there. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in, and uh, have a uh, magnificent Monday. So no other requests uh, so far, so that's cool. We're keeping up with those. Nothing inside the tiger's den. And so what should we do? I think what we should do is at least go back and revisit um, – we should go back and revisit the, at least the 30-minute time frame charts. So let me get those pulled up for us. Let me get the right uh, screen out here. And uh, that screen is going to be this one. So what do we know now versus when we came on the air? So the NQ, which has got the A to B equals CD pattern, has clearly taken out the key resistance level. Um, I mentioned natural gas, uh, Tucker, but we'll, we'll take a look at it. So this is suggesting to you and I, uh, we should see a move up to about the 15,657 level. That's the NQ upper right hand corner. The ES Mini now taking out resistance at 4613. It's got 11 minutes to confirm that, but that suggests you could see a rally up to the 4667 level. The uh, Dow, it's got a TD9 count bottom. Price is taking on its level of resistance. That's the top of the bear structured daily, uh, I'm sorry, 30 minute profile. And that that's up at 35,791. They're 35,790 as we speak. A close above 35,791 says it too wants to move higher. TD9 count bottom on the Russell. If price is able to stay above, close above 2141, you should see a move to 2153 out there. With regard to natural gas, let's just go pull up the futures contracts here and then we'll change screens momentarily. And um, what do we have? So in natural gas, 
The issue is, what is the issue? So here, what we can see, you've got uh, 13 uh, trading days left in this uh, contract. We're going to roll over here uh, shortly. Uh, price right now, but what this suggests to us right now, as we take a look at the February contract, uh, this is uh, for Tucker, is as long as price closes about 398, you should see a run to $4.36 out there. That's the uh, top of its, in essence, top of its daily and weekly profiles. If price can close above that, then you've got a change in trend signal. On the uh, March contract out here, you don't have that same message right now. Price is trading at 383. The level that it needs to close above is 3.843 out there. And if it doesn't close above that, it makes the bottoming signal suspect. So watch $3.84 for the March contract for natural gas. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So I believe I was on the wrong screen when we were covering the 30-minute charts there earlier. And so I've got those uh, showing right now so you can see those uh, those patterns that are out there. You can see their target levels. So once you're above the profile levels, which each of them are right now, then the only next area that I've got would be to take a look at a swing point, but really the TD9 breakdown levels. And uh, those are the those are the targets right now. 46.67, the ES, 15.657, the NQ. 
Um, 36.127 the Dow. The Russell would be 21.79. Now, not guaranteeing that price is going to get up there, but those are the target levels. And to the downside out here, just so you know, we do not have any kind of change in trend signal out here. Um, not saying that we're not going to get it, but what we don't have is a change in trend signal. You do have two new profiles that are attempting to form, two new weekly profiles that are attempting to form. The first one is inside the ES. That's your upper right-hand chart. <clears throat> now, I won't know. Maybe I'll know this evening. It may not know till Friday, quite frankly, because there's a weekly profile out here. But 45.49 is the level to be watching. If we were to see a weekly close below that, assuming that the profile takes hold, that would be our change in trend signal. We don't have that. Inside the NQ, it's got to close below 14.804. We're well away from that, or we're, we're quite a ways away from that. Inside the Dow, the number is 34.435. That's the second of the two four instruments that is attempting to form a new weekly profile, with the bottom being at that 34. 435 level and inside the Russell 2000 at 2137 we're trading right now at 2148 so those are the levels that price would need to close below on a weekly basis in order to generate a change in trend signal and in order to generate the likelihood the likelihood that this is more than just the seasonal move down into the end of January and then a rally that takes us up into May that is likely the pattern but the proof will be in the pudding and the pudding here are the bottom of those weekly profiles. So folks, you and I, we did our job out there. We took a look at the markets, we took a look at the patterns out there, and uh, we've let them unfold, and it's uh, helped us to identify at least that we've got a bounce that is most certainly confirmed and underway. Stay tuned, folks, we've got two more great hours left. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a marvelous Monday.